How might the aggregation of tachyon fields into toroidal shapes, as you've proposed, influence the formation of large-scale cosmic structures, such as galaxies and black holes? If I am correct, the tachyons are the quantum of gravity, then the elemental force of gravity would have existed prior to the first photon. This is supported by current cosmological theories, which stipulate that gravity was present during the Planck epoch, less than 10 to the negative 43rd seconds after the Big Bang, while the first photon to form could not have occurred prior to the end of the electroweak era, at least 10 to the negative 12th seconds following the Big Bang, when B and W bosons could begin to bond. What this means, if tachyons are additionally toroidal in shape, is that this toroidal shape is then stamped like a template onto all forms that subsequently evolved from it. So an electron's orbital shell around a nucleus may be semi-toroidal now, with the electron's potential location existing anywhere on its orbital shell, and its magnetic poles existing exactly right angled to the equator thereof, on one end of the size scale, while on the opposite end, 4D space-time itself may be hyperbolic, that is, bent convexly, or so-called saddle-shaped, like the surface of a toroid. In specific, just as like the electromagnetic field of a star is clearly wrapping up into field lines around the star's equator at a slower rate than around its poles, slow, so too do most black holes have white hole poles that emit iron gas jets at a right angle to the equator of the black hole. Just so, in a spiral galaxy, where many such stars have gathered in a draining vortex, pulled around and inward toward the core black holes. This FTL radiation, escaping the black hole's poles, arcs back around to connect to the poles of each star in such a galaxy, gravitationally affecting their electromagnetic orientation relative to the average galactic plane which is itself equivalent to the average accretion disk of the core black holes. Thus, the shape of this invisible aura that connects each star's poles to the poles of the galaxy's core black holes is toroidal as well.